Bro, we are so back. We are back in Germany, back at my home. After three weeks traveling through Japan and staying in Tokyo and shit, I'm back, back with pickups, back with another video. I told you every week I'm back on YouTube. And uh, yeah, we got quite a few pickups actually. Um, more than I've expected, to be honest, since I copped the stuff online while I was in Japan. So kind of stacked up. It's all right though, so uh, let's get it going. All right, starting off with the first piece that I'm already wearing. It's an Aquila uh, optical glasses. It's like clear shades. Shout out Drew. He actually kind of enabled me. He had like a pair with like a purple tinted glass and bro, the, I'm, and bro, I immediately fell in love with this super thick frame. It's like so unique. And uh, I think these are perfect for everyday wear since I really like uh, how glasses look on me. Uh, I'm not trying to be weird or something, but uh, I usually wear my yellow tinted glasses. If you wear them too long, you kind of forget like what reality looks like. So I got some clear ones instead. Super nice and uh, probably, not even probably, by far the best in terms of quality wise glasses I have. It's, it doesn't make any sounds. Like you know when you have like glasses and like the, the and like the uh, and like the lens in between is like making noises, bro. That shit is cheap quality. But this one, 10 out of 10, man. It's a bit more pricey than what I usually pay for glasses, but definitely worth it since I'm probably gonna wear these every day. Pickup number one. It's quite a few, uh, quite a few nice pieces actually. But let's stick to pieces. Uh, let's stick to magazines, man. I think I've already I've already shown them in the Japan vlog, but uh, I got three Popeye magazines, and these are not like usual Popeye magazines. These are super old, like from the 80s. Like this one, for example, it's like a magazine about motorcycles and guitars from 1977, which is super crazy to me because all oh, that shit was like 30 years before I was even born. And the reason why I got this is because I really, really like digging into archives to get inspiration. And uh, I don't know, it's like kind of hobby. I'm also very interested in old comic books, old vinyls, vinyl covers, just to get like inspiration of how graphics look back then, how people have drawn things back then. And uh, yeah, it gives me like a really nice, um, and it gives me like a really nice inspiration for designs for the use. So I bring like quite a few magazines home. So definitely worth the 20 or 30 euro, man. You know, I'm coming to the next pickup, actually a sample. We have this Liu card holder right here, the army green one featuring like a gold stamp. And uh, yes, yeah, like army green or olive, call it whatever. And I actually replaced my Goyard with this one since this one is just super basic, super clean. Uh, but nevertheless, let's move on to the third pickup. And honestly, I was living in this zipper right here for the past two or three days. This one is from Akimbo. Some of you may know this zip. It's like a Kimbo club in a collab with Realtree. Super comfy, obviously inspired of Ross Athletic, but uh, we all love Ross Athletic. Hoods, fits, whatever. One thing I gotta say, I wish the hem and the cuffs would be a little bit tighter because uh, I don't like it if it doesn't get like tighter at the cuff or at the, you know. So this is pickup number four. Probably one of my favorite pickups in the past one or two months. Was a little bit expensive, but uh, definitely a unique piece. I mean, you can easily find real tree products, but with such a good fit, probably not. And uh, yeah, amazing zipper. Might actually uh, put this on right now since it's a little bit cold, bro. That's how it looks. Perfect fit, but you know, a little bit uh, too wide at the cuffs. But other than that, amazing pickup. All right, coming to another pickup from Japan. We got these Carhartt Dabinis in olive. It was actually the only colorway I was kind of looking for. Like I wasn't even looking for Dabinis, but uh, yeah, I stumbled across this green one, this olive one. Has some nice distressing at the hem and basically a perfect double knee for like the spring season. It's like straight leg, genuine vintage, 
not too big and goes amazing on like hiking boots, slides and any low tops. Great pickup. I actually got rid of all my Dubbinies, like my black one, my brown one. So got one back. Uh, at some point of time, these were kind of a bit too trendy, but uh, I'm not the person who's like, who stops wearing clothes because people, but I think it's a dumb way to think about like fashion. If you really like a piece, you shouldn't care about whether it's trendy or not. Uh, if you style it good, bro, go ahead and uh, yeah. So actually happy I got my hands on another Dubbini. All right. Coming to another Liu pickup, actually shooting sample. But I got this ship to Nigo in Japan. This one is another canvas tote bag or canvas shopper bag. And uh, this time it is two-tone featuring our piece uh, Liu Corp logo. Pretty simple, got like multiple pockets, new uh, tag inside. And just want to show you since this one and the jeans. Since this one, the jeans, the bomber jackets and the card holders are releasing in on April 10th, so next week, I guess. So make sure to sign up for newsletter, the stock is limited and it will be the last delivery for pre-SS24. SS24 is coming too, but you gotta be a little bit more patient. Been cooking on some pieces, some workwear stuff, but more to that later, so yeah. Bro, I don't know what was going on with me, but I went back to back with zippers because I've never owned like a good zipper, like a bit weird. I always see people wearing like zip up hoodies, but I've never had one. I've only had like hoodies, fits amazing. It's like a bit different. It's like shaped a bit differently. Very great pickup. I got this at We Go Vintage in Shimukitazawa when I met up with Drew um, for actually a reasonable price. I think it was 4,000 yen or 4.5, which is like 30 bucks, so can't complain. These usually go like in Europe for like 80 to 100. Coming to my first ever raw denim piece. You know, I was really, really craving a raw denim jacket in Japan, but I couldn't find one in my size. They were usually way too small or way too big. I don't know what was going on there. There was like no uh, besides the simply complicated one, but I kind of messed up and didn't buy it. So shout out Tommy, but uh, maybe next time. So I got this actually retail Levi's denim jacket. That's like a vintage line. I think it's like, what does it say? Like, uh, oh, actually, bro, I didn't even see this. It's like, it's like made in Japan. And this one is like a Levi's vintage line. It's usually a bit more pricey but definitely better fabrics used, better fits, better shapes, and overall better craftsmanship. Uh, as you can tell, this one is made in Japan, even though I thought it was made in the US. But yeah, it's the 1937 Type 1 Levi's raw denim jacket, I guess. Fits perfectly cropped, nice fit, uh, not too big, not too small. It's like the perfect denim jacket. I'm uh, actually looking for a matching pair of denim. It's a bit stiff, so I consider washing it once since I think that's, that's actually how you can do it, I guess. So teach me if I'm wrong, but I might wash this once and then probably be super uh, careful with like stains and shit. But that's my first raw denim piece, but there's definitely more to come, you know? Uh, I haven't worn this uh, since Japan. It's like this stone wash, bro. Definitely need some hangers. It's like this stonewash uh, leather jacket from Stissy from the Spring Summer 24 collection. It features a workwear tab on the back and the leather is so soft, bro. It's like wear off, so there's actually, uh, so this is just a paint, but there's actual leather, leather underneath. So the more you wear it, the more unique this jacket gets. And uh, I really, really fell in love with this. It's like super thick zipper amazing fit it's like basically how can i describe it? it's like an active jacket but made out of super soft leather so a very very nice pickup i bought this in japan actually way cheaper than it is in europe due to tax free the moment i got this i've literally worn this the whole remaining trip because i only took my bomber jacket with me 
So I was really, really lucky to find another jacket to make more looks and actually uh, yeah, fell in love with this jacket. There's two pieces left. One of them is my favorite pickup in probably the past year, man. I, I say this every video, but this time, bro, shout out the boys for enabling me to buy these Dana boots. These, these originally came with like green laces, but I swapped them with red laces to, uh, to create this classic Dana look. And these are like Gore-Tex made in US, I guess. Uh, Dana boots, hiking boots, super soft leather, super comfortable. And uh, these look amazing on feet, amazing with like any workwear pants, straight leg pants, and just give the outfit a retro character since these are pretty beat but still in a very good condition and um, like during the past six months I really fell in love with hiking boots and this won't be my last Dana boot. I'm actually eyeing para boot as well but uh, back to this shoe, shout out the boys, shout out Joseph, uh, Kimchi and Drew and Chris for enabling me to buy this shoe you know crazy pickup and i even and i only paid 70 bucks for this one or like 70 euro which is crazy all right coming to the last gift pickup call it whatever first of all shout out jimmy fairly for sending me over these glasses since i lost mine my signature yellow shades you know the ones I'm usually wearing, I lost these in Japan, but uh, they sent me new ones. This time it's like more orange and, and the animal print, but uh, actually let me swap. Very, very nice shades. Back with my usual look, yellow shades, you know, what, you know what's up. So that's probably the end of the video. Shout out Jimmy Fairley for sending these over. One of the best glasses brands I know with Aquila, so this being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, it's good to be back, there's more content coming, there's another collection coming, there's another trip coming next week, so this being said, thanks for watching and see you next week in Barcelona. <laughs>